We continue our reflection on Holy Week in Mark chapter 14, beginning in verse 3. And while he was at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, as he was reclining at table, a woman came with an alabaster flask of ointment of pure nard, very costly, and she broke the flask and poured it over his head. There were some who said to themselves indignantly, Why was the ointment wasted like that? For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor. And they scolded her. But Jesus said, Leave her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, and whenever you want, you can do good for them. But you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for burial. And truly, I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. Although the woman isn't named in Matthew or Mark's accounts, in John, he makes it clear that the woman is Mary, the sister of Martha and the sister of Lazarus. The alabaster would have been worth something close to a year's wages. So this would probably have been the most valuable thing uh, that would have been in Mary's possession. John chapter 12 also tells us that the instigator of the criticism of Mary was Judas Iscariot, and that his motives were not helping the poor, but rather his own greed, as he had been stealing from the treasury uh, as the holder of the money bag. Jesus made clear that although we have a responsibility to minister to the poor, in this circumstance, Mary was not worthy of criticism because what she did was a beautiful act of love and worship. Jesus' crucifixion was imminent, and she was anointing him for his impending burial. Jesus tells the disciples that Mary's act will always be remembered because she valued Jesus more than anything she had or anything she could do. As I reflect on these verses, I consider when I serve or when I give, Am I motivated by Christ and His glory? And in my life and my relationships, do I value Christ above all else?